All right, so painting is probably almost done. Basically, I did the first part, kind of the grunt work. Coco and I went in and did all the rolling and kind of the first uh, layer of the paint and then we kind of hired somebody to come in and do all the technical stuff afterwards because I'm just not good at doing that kind of stuff so I'm about to go to the garage see what the painting looks like and then I'm gonna tell you guys where we're going from there All right, so the paint job is done. I'll show you guys with the garage up what this looks like so you can see and explain a little bit what happened here. So this is a bit darker gray and uh, the idea is just that the finished result is a bit, the darker the color, it's a little bit easier for me, for me to make things just look clean. So you guys can see what this looks like here. I want to uh, close the garage door and show you kind of where we're going with all of this. There's not gonna be good lighting, but I just switched out the bulbs and put LED bulbs in for the time being, though this is not what is gonna stay. So, of course, all my stuff is still in the middle here, but you guys can see here what this looks like. All the walls, they were white. Uh, basically what I did was started painting and more I got into it because I suck at painting, you know, doing, doing the cutting and the edge and the edges and all the cinder block, you know, all that stuff. It's just difficult to get done the right way, particularly when I'm doing it by myself. So I did kind of the grunt work as far as rolling goes and the first coat because these walls are not the same exact walls that you would find in your house. Basically the paint sucks up, or the wall sucks up the paint and it takes like two or three coats to really get it right without uh, being able to see a bunch of strokes. But this guy just finished, uh, you know, he kind of finished off my job and did an awesome job. Anyways, totally, totally worth paying for. Okay, the vision here is behind me along this piece of drywall right here, there's gonna be a bit of pegboards things hanging up, particular detailing products, all that stuff. Uh, behind me right here, you know, about right here to about the end of this wall, we're gonna have some shelving put in there, probably keep some of this shelving, but I imagine um, some particular built-ins coming out of uh, the wall here. Now, here's the thing. Now that the painting is done, I'll show you guys, um, maybe let you see. Obviously the lighting sucks something fierce in here, okay? I mean, all it is is these two bulbs up there and uh, this, you know, really warm light over there, which I'm not gonna keep. So basically what I'm planning on doing here, um, I am going to, I was, I was researching a ton today um, and I was looking at what Matt Mormon did at Obsessed Garage because he has an awesome lighting video where he explained kind of exactly what he did and how he did it. And I really liked that video. It helped me kind of understand how to go about this a bit better. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do here is I'm not building out a garage that I'm gonna have a drain in it and I'm gonna have a wash bay and it's gonna be like a million dollar garage. I'm not doing that. But I'm just slowly and steadily kind of leveling things up. So I'm trying to prioritize in the right sequence what is the most imperative thing to get done. In other words, let's put the first thing first. So while I would love to have flooring in this garage, um, I may or may not get to do that because the next most important thing apart from painting, now that that's totally done, is gonna be lighting. So painting was my main priority to get all that gr like just like dirty look out of the garage. And now I obviously need to put these lights in. So we're investing a bit of money in some nicer lights. Um, I want to go ahead and get four, but what I'm going to be doing is getting two four bulb, no, 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 two six bulb 
lights, lighting fixtures. They're gonna be LED, they're gonna be frosted lights so we kind of disperse the light around the garage a bit better. And that's all I know how to explain right this second. So I'm gonna have to show you guys that a bit later. But the two are gonna go like right there and then right there. And I was talking to Coco and I was like, I really wanna get four, I wanna get, I wanna get four fixtures that each hold six uh, bulbs, LED uh, frosted bulbs. But she was like, why don't we just get two and then we'll see if we need more light after that. So the idea is to just get two, we're gonna stick those in uh, more or less where these bulbs are right now and then should we need more, we'll put in two uh, parallel to each other there as well. So that is going to be kind of the next phase of doing this garage and it's just a bit longer process than I originally intended, but I imagine, you know, these things kind of always take a little bit more time and money than you probably think they do at first. But um, because I, I have moved into more video making and any clientele that I do or any detailing I do now is basically reserved only for, you know, ceramic coatings or paint correction or more tedious tasks. I don't uh, just detail anymore as far as interior, exterior, uh, you know, minivans and stuff. I uh, pretty much exclusively do coatings now. Um, not only is this a place to detail, but it's also gonna be a place to do coatings and all that sort of stuff. So um, hopefully I can get a flooring in here after the lights, but again, I'm trying to put first things first. The lights are my next priority. Um, we're gonna be removing this water filter there, so <laughs> that's gonna be gone, of course. Um, and then, I imagine that we're also going to be putting in probably a couple of fans, probably one up here in this corner and one up here uh, maybe right around there, um, but that's gonna be a later date too. So this is where we're at, painting job done, totally worth it to pay for somebody <laughs> to do it the right way. It does not always make sense to do things yourself. It was so relieving to have him come and just kind of, I was getting discouraged because uh, I was, I thought I was gonna do it all myself and I was like, man, if I try to do this trim and cut these edges, I'm just gonna, it's gonna look so bad. So anyway, we just had him come and do it and it's so good that step one is officially finished. So, Lighting is next. Next video, I'm gonna show you guys what the lights are. We'll film installing them. That's gonna be another learning curve for me. I have a neighbor who's gonna install them. He does this professionally, and he's gonna teach me all about it, and uh, we'll kind of look at that as we go as well. Um, but for right now, this is the uh, beginning stages of what is hopefully going to be a really cool detail garage for where I'm at right now. So if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited. So it'll be really nice to have a place to just come shoot videos, do coatings, and um, yeah, I don't know. It feels good, it feels really good. So guys, keep working hard, and I'll see you in the next video.